Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I'm going to go over, answer a question in the AudioBus forum about my previous video on the UMC 404 HD, and it's about routing and about the headphones, and so this right here is the headphone port, headphones, right here, and he was asking how, what does it monitor as far as the playback? Or what? And so I figured I would just um, go over the basic routing, what I figured out um, the day that I've had it, and uh, just kind of share it with you guys. So over here, this is the front right here, and this is the back. Sorry about my crude drawings. These are the four ends one, two, three, and four. These are the main outputs, main outs. And these are the playback outs. <clears throat> now when you hook this up to your iPad, you will notice that you have channel uh, on the inputs, you have one through one and two as a stereo, one and two, three and four as a stereo pair, or three and four individually mono. And as the outputs, you will notice you have one and two as a stereo, one and two mono, three and four stereo, three and four mono. <clears throat> That's all it shows up, but it has the main outs and it has playback outs one, two, three, and four. And so to kind of understand what's going on, um, I just thought I would show you that because when you have it selected in your iPad or any other thing on the one and two, it's going to be sending signal out the mains, either XLR or quarter inch, or it will be sending signals out channel one and two on the playback outs. Now the playback outs only monitor USB and so if you have signal going if you've got your cables plugged in here or here these are RCA jacks quarter inch and RCA then it's only going to monitor or it's only going to play out what you're sending it via USB. Now if you have your things going out the main then it's going to be monitoring if you're sending out one and two the playback of the USB one and two and anything that's plugged into these four inputs you now these four inputs are kind of like you've got your main left and right and so how they kind of work is like this which is pretty common for I think a lot of interfaces channels one and two one and two are going to the left and right, three and four are going to the left and the right. And so that's where this little stereo mono uh, button comes in when it's depressed or um, or whatever you can either sum up the sum up the signal into a mono so that way if you're monitoring here or via your headphones you can hear it on both sides instead of just one side or if you like it that way like if you have your mic and your guitar plugged in it will be bounced left and right or if you have it set to mono then it'll you'll hear a stereo image a mono mix of on both headphones <clears throat> so that brings me to the headphones now what does the headphones listen to now the headphones has a selector it has an A and B selector the A is going to be listening to one and two or at the same time it's also going to be listening to the mains Therefore, it will be listening to the ends. But how much of that mix out the mains or out the headphones is going to be determined by this mix knob right here. Now, the mix knob has playback on one side and it has ends on the other. And if it's all the way this way, then out of the headphones and out of the main mix, you're going to hear nothing but the USB. So this is... I mean, you could say inputs and playback, inputs, USB, whatever. Either way, it's only going to be coming out what's being played through the USB. Now, if you have it turned all the way this way and you have inputs going in, all you're going to be hearing out of the main or the headphones when it's in the A position will be the inputs. 
So if you've got your guitar, you know, keyboards, whatever, plugged into these four inputs, and you have this mix switch turned all the way to the end position, all you're going to be hearing is these inputs. Now, if you depress this and you have B selected, you're not going to hear any of the, any of the inputs at all because B for the headphones is just three and four USB playback. <clears throat> And so in order to, I guess, to DJ style monitor what's going out, say, 1 and 2 versus 3 and 4, you would need this mix button all the way over to playback. And then it's only going to sh play through the headphones what's coming out 1 and 2, 3 and 4. Now, if you're using the mains, um, it's also going to do the same thing. So in your software, like I said earlier, if you have 1 and 2 selected, it's either going to be coming out 1 and 2 here or the mains. Now the mains have its own volume control. The playbacks do not. And so they're controlled. They would be controlled the line out via the USB because they would be considered, uh, probably considered uh, line level. And so you're going to control that with your USB software. Or, you know, whatever device you have, have it plugged into, like here, have it plugged into my iPad. And so if I wanted, <clears throat> um, you know, whatever app that I had out and I wanted it to go to channels 3 and 4, I would control the level out via this um, slider here, you know, or 1 and 2 via that slider. And, you know, you could set up a mix bus like this right here as well, A and B, and then whatever you wanted to send to A or to B, you know, you could uh, do it that way and have A and B sending out channels 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Um, and so that's pretty simple on on that. So hopefully that, that cleared it up. So the to answer, the to give a straight answer to the question would be the headphones in the A position, headphones, and the A position are, is going to be monitoring the inputs or the playback depending on where the mix knob is. Um, so if you just want to hear what's in playing back, then just turn that mix knob all the way over. And if you want to hear the inputs, then turn it back the other way. And then if you want to hear what's in B, playing out channels and this right here is going to be for one and two B for three and four doesn't care about the mix knob because all it is listening to is the USB's three and four whatever's not three and a quarter three and four it's only to care about the playback that's being sent to three and four so I think that's I think that covers it um, so yeah, so just these playback inputs only are going to play back. Um, oops, what do I got going on? Okay, the, these right here are only going to play back what I'll show you on the actual device. Um, these are only going to play back USB. Now you can route inputs to these so that you can hear them via you know whichever set you want to go to that would be fine um, but just just note that in the box itself it's only going to send out without any other routing it's only going to send out USB on 1 and 2, 3 and 4 but if you have 1 and 2 selected and you have stuff plugged into mains then it's also going to be monitoring the inputs and so you'll need to adjust the mix knob accordingly whether or not you want to hear the inputs or not. So hopefully this covered the question on uh, the Audiobus forum and any other questions that you know you may have on the routing. If you have any other questions about this interface or routing then let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer it you know usually in video form because it's just easier uh, instead of typing a bunch of stuff and sometimes things get lost in translation when you type so 
Uh, thanks for watching. All links are in the description, and I will talk to you guys later.